the Chance Wars 96 here with another unboxing video. So here you go. So yeah, as you can see, we've got a, a fresh package here from uh, Amazon, obviously. And uh, yeah, very excited for this. This was uh, something that was pretty cool. So I got a gift card uh, a few weeks back uh, for Amazon, and I was really looking to see what should I get, and decided to go with this. So let's get it open. I can't see where the seam is there. Okay, got some bubble wrapping. There we go. And let's see what we have. First of all, cool, we've got Deathlock. Very nice. Marvel Universe figure that I've definitely been wanting to get. This new Marvel Universe line is really weird to me. Um, I prefer the old uh, packaging a lot better. The toys themselves really haven't gone down in quality, or at least from the most part, from what I can see. And even just looking at this guy, he looks great. He looks like he's got as much articulation as any other Marvel Universe figure, and maybe even more some. So, very cool. It's just, it's a really weird line because they're not distributed very well. I'm having a ton of trouble finding any of these figures. Um, the first wave, I was able to find that wave in stores, and since then I have not found any other waves. Plus, I'm not quite sure what waves are what. Uh, you know, I believe, I believe this is the third wave. Um, I'm not sure, and here's some of the figures. And like this guy, Omega Red, he was released in a previous wave back in Marvel Legends, Marvel Universe, uh, back when that series was ending, and, um... And uh, uh, it was just, it was an incredibly hard figure to find. I've never seen that wave on retail. I just feel like I loved the Marvel Universe wave. And this, and nowadays, it's really just uh, lacked in standards as far as getting their figures out. And here we have, we have Valkyrie. As you can see, she looks pretty cool. Let's get some more light. Very neat. I'm not quite sure anything about her, though. Um, she doesn't look packaged the best. I mean, this sword is bent to hell, man. I'm gonna have to see if that can be fixed. And then her ankle here is way off. They're, they're packaged not great. And then it is, it is a little bent on the back here. But overall, looks good. She's pretty interesting. She looks like she's got some good articulation. Like I said, I don't really know her character. But she looks like a neat little figure. And, uh, the head sculpt definitely looks completely new. With some really neat and interesting hair. So that's pretty neat. Alright, next up, we have, who is this, Ares, very cool, oh man, he looks big, wow, this was a figure that I really wasn't looking forward to, I really didn't even think, it, uh, or I didn't really quite know if I was going to buy him, just because he didn't look that special and I really didn't know much about the character, but man, getting this guy in person, he is very bulky, and this might be a completely new mold. I, I think it is actually. That's cool. Like, uh, you know, they, they're reusing so many molds that you know to get a new one is really awesome. And he comes with two massive weapons, and he has hinges on the wrists. I totally wasn't expecting that. Wow, th this looks like it could be a really cool figure. All right, I I might have not gotten this guy. Really glad I did though, because he is looking badass. I have to say. And then lastly here we have Omega Red. Very cool. He's looking nice. He's looking a little nicer than I expected, too. He's looking bigger than I expected, as well. Very cool. So we've got some great figures here. Um, from Wave 2, I believe. Uh, you know, I, I haven't found them in stores, and I really want the Whirlwind guy. And I also want that, like, Death's Head, or, or whatever that one's name is. I can't remember his name, but I definitely want them. And uh, they were on Amazon, but they were like $16 a piece. These were all $11 a piece. Omega Red and Deathlock, they seem to have plenty of um, Ares and Valkyrie. They when I, when I purchased this, they only had 7 Ares left and only... Um, I believe 10 Valkyries left, and that was a couple days ago, and I've, I had been watching them, and they, they seem to drop a few each day, so these two are going to sell out fast if they haven't already sold out, but you do have time with Deathlock and Omega Red. These guys were all $11 a piece, and I, I don't know, I think you had to spend like 35 or so, and then you got free shipping, so I was able to get free shipping, so I basically paid a dollar more for each of these than I would have if I just found them in the stores, which is an excellent price, and I'm very happy with that. Um... And Ant-Man's the only other one. They did have Ant-Man, but he's like $20. And that figure, it doesn't look like... It looks like one of the older molds. And it just it doesn't look like a very fun figure to me. But these all look like really fun, interesting characters that uh, I'm very excited to get out. I mean, um, uh, some of these, like Ares for sure, look a lot better in person than I could have expected. So I'm excited to open these guys up. Hopefully I can get these reviews out to you in a timely fashion. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching.